So the first step is to actually create the employees that we're going to have logging into the system. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to start off in contacts, locate contact, and we're going to try to find the person's name that we're trying to add. So let's say that we're trying to add uh, Jane Evans. So we're going to type in Evans and we're going to type in Jane and we can see that we don't have a match here. Now, if you do have a match, you can actually edit them uh, and change the, the final step, which you're going to see in this video. So it's, it's easy enough either way. But when you're initially getting set up, obviously, you're not going to have your employees in here already. So we're going to go ahead and select either of these add buttons. And Lizzie will bring up our ad control. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter in the position. So let's say that this person's in the sales department. Um, it's brought in their name. Um, we're going to put in our company uh, name here just to kind of help us find our employees later. Um, so we'll put in ABC Corp. Um, this is a, a female. Um, we put in their home address. This is for if we have to get in touch with them later. Um, and then your city, state, and zip. So I'm not going to go through every bit of this. But um, we put in their telephone number. We want to collect both their home phone and we want to probably put in their work phone if they have a different number um, than you know, someone else. Maybe they get a different extension or something. We can put in their, their phone. Um, to put in a, an additional phone, put in the one and then hit the plus sign. Um, so as an example... And then if I wanted to add another one, I just hit this, and then I can change uh, the second one to cell phone, for example, and then put that one in. Um, the same thing for email. The, the primary thing about the email is you probably, you want to put in their work email address. And if you don't already have a domain name for your company, um, I would highly suggest getting one and set your emails up to be at that domain. So whether it's first name dot last name at ABC Corp or it's you know first initial last name at ABC Corp.com, whatever it happens to be, I would highly recommend setting that up for each individual employee. I wouldn't use their home address email address for, for doing the, the work stuff. You don't want employees communicating with your customers from their Yahoo account. Uh, so I would, you know, t take a look at that. It's a very simple process. And most, if you have a domain, uh, most of the domain, wherever you have it hosted, probably already gives you the ability to do it. So just a note. Um, it really doesn't matter what the email address is, but it, it Lizzie uses that email address for them to log in. So it's just easier if you set everything up correctly in the beginning uh, and then you're not having to change things later so you're going to put in their email address i'm just going to put in the the first initial and then we'll put in their last name at abccorp.com and i'm going to go ahead and save this record so just to kind of recap here we have our our record here the the name company name email address which is the primary thing we're after here and their phone information and you can obviously come back and edit this at any time now this puts us over here on the the system on the on the view contact control and there's one more or two more steps that we have to do if they're an employee so basically what we've just done is the same thing you're going to do to add a new customer so um, you've already learned how to add, add a customer to the system if you need to, but we're going to go one step farther and turn this into an employee. So the first thing to do is to actually go into the edit control here for the customer type, and we're going to select the employee checkbox. And then from here, I have the ability to also select whether I want them to show up in the sales list, in the, the carrier list, in the secondary or, or primary technician list. Um, so you, you can set those if you need to. Again, you can come back and do that. It's not necessary to do it right this minute. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And then the last step is to come down here to our additional contact information, which is right here on the same page, right at the bottom. We're going to edit this particular uh, contact record that we have in here. And at the top, we're going to select the role that we want this person to play. So we're going to say that this particular person is a parts clerk. So we're going to select parts clerk. We're going to tell Lizzie to allow them to log in. And we also want to tell her to show the email address whenever you view the contact information so that you're not, you don't have to go down the bottom. So it just, it's just a, a control that lets you uh, see the email address from, from the front page. 
um, not really that critical. The big thing is the, the security role and then the allow login. So we're going to go ahead and save that and you're done. This person is now going to get an email sent to this address with their login information and they'll be able to log into Lizzie to get into both the training database and into your corporate database. Um, so that is really all that there is to getting the, the information added in here. Um, obviously, and, and I'm not going to go into detail in this particular video, but if you go over to settings and you go to security and then role setup, um, this is where you set up what, what functions that particular role has to play. Now, we have already set up a lot of this stuff for you, so there's going to be very little that you'll have to go in and change. But this is where you'll go to actually make those changes if you want to, to give somebody access to a particular report or to take access away that maybe we thought they should have and you don't. Um, so this is where, but I wouldn't worry about this at this point. Um, this can come into play, you know, as we're going through the conversion process. But right now, that's all there is to getting a new employee added to the system.